Welcome to another episode of Mastaffy Plays Minecraft. This is going to be episode 6, and today we are going to be heading into the nether. I know, that's just jumping right into it. I actually, uh, got to go to work here and leave in about, oh, let's see, half an hour or so. We can't really take too long, but we I figure we can, uh, I can show you, uh, one of the things I've done with, with my nether. I uh, spent time and actually built a few uh, few structures in there. And I have a nether wart farm. That just came out. Uh, nether wart in uh, 1.9 I think. Oh wait, that's wrong door. Um, so I have a farm in there. I also have glowstone mines and a bunch of other stuff. Um, but the nether is one of those places where everything's kind of spread out, even if it is a smaller dimension. So it does take a little while to get from place to place. So we're just going to focus on uh, one of the other things I built. After I built my my uh, road to spawn and road to here, I, I set up a, another portal. And the portal at my main base, which you're going to see, is actually the first one I built. We're going to go in the... Um, oh, yeah, well, this way. The one that I showed you here in my castle actually is the first one, uh, the second one, rather, that I built. So, keep that in mind when you realize how easy the nether makes travel. Oh. Alright. Let's go! Now, I built a shelter around my nether portal, and the reason I did that was because when I'm playing on higher difficulties, I don't want ghasts immediately spawning and raping me, so that's a good idea if you're going to have a lot of work that you're doing in the nether, so just, just keep that in mind. It's not a bad idea. And all you need is really this. I mean, yeah, ghasts can blow, blow holes in this, but they can't blow holes in it if they can't see you, and they don't fire at you unless they see you, so... Down here, this tunnel leads to more of my um, uh, glowstone mines. It's a bit of a walk, so I'm not going to take you down there. But that's just what they found there. I uh, made a little... Yeah. I thought that'd look cool. Now, all the roads in the nether are dirt. And the reason that gra is that grass doesn't grow in the nether, so I didn't have to worry about making it gravel. As you can see, I have another... One of those. All right. And here we have my hallway of fire. Alright, and here we are at my nether base. Got a little crafting table in here. It's kind of blown out and looks kind of doomish because I haven't put doors in it. Oh, hey, I have another wart ready for harvest, I think. See. I'll have to consult a, uh, I'll have to consult a, um, fact about that. Let's see what the grown nether wart looks like. I think it... I think it has to go through one more stage, and then it's done. But it looks, looks done to me, almost. Yeah, I think I think it's it's got a tighter clumping. 
when that when it's done. Now I had a little bit of an issue with my main uh, portal, and this is a bit of a glitch that the game has, and it's never really been fixed. Occasionally, when you make a portal, what will happen is that the portal will generate in the nether at a 90 degree angle to the portal that's in the overworld. So, I uh, had to put this sign up to remind myself that when, I, when I'm in the portal, I should be facing this way. Or else I'm going to be looking at a wall. <laughs> When I first made this base, I started spreading out in this direction, and so you'll see I have lots of torches running everywhere, and those demark trails through the nether that I have. I haven't gotten all the glowstone out of here yet. But, uh, most places I, I have, so. Since the nether isn't the overworld, I don't feel obligated to, um, make anything look correct from an engineering standpoint. If I need to, if I need to build a bridge out like that, I'm sure as hell gonna do it. In fact, there's a lot of catwalks um, farther out that uh, I built, and that was that was that was a nail-biting experience. Trying to harvest glowstone over a giant lake of fire, and I'm near the ceiling, and it's probably a good 40-block fall to the to the lava down below. Keeping in mind that in the Nether um, lava, there's a lava ocean at um, level 30. Yeah, I think it's level 30. I'll just say level 32, but I think it's level 30. Hey, there's a lava ocean, and that's anything below that that isn't rock and is open space is what the heck was that? <clears throat> anyway, that was open space is lava. As you can see, don't want to fall down there. That would hurt. Not that I'm, I don't think I have much of anything really in well. As you can see, um, clocks don't work in the nether because there's no day or night cycle. Um, compasses don't have anywhere to point to because there's no real spawn. So, yeah. You know, I don't think I've ever seen anyone post a video of that. That little aspect is... Here, let me show that again. Here is what compasses and clocks do in the nether. Boom, boom, right there. Let me show you that. That's, that's a compass, and that's a clock. And they are going apeshit. Look at that. They are not working at all. I tried to make uh, several portals over in my overworld. There's actually quite a few portals floating around my overworld that I never showed you. But I could never seem to get them to link up to or generate another portal. So I said to myself, okay, how about I just wander off a little bit, excuse me, and I build a portal in the nether and see where that leads me. Now that's always a dangerous proposition. Especially if you don't remember where you are in relation to one of your other portals when you're in the nether. Fortunately, this one, I knew where I was. So when I built it, I was like, okay. And so I built it, and I decided where it would take me. And it's another one of those 90 degree ones. Isn't that delightful?
Um, which way do I head? Yeah, this way. Oh. I generated in a cave, and I was like, wow, I'm in a cave. Now, before I exit here, let me keep telling you that for a long time when I was running around my world, in fact, I didn't think I could ever find one, I couldn't find a snow biome. My world, as you saw, had no snow biomes. So when I um, came to the surface and saw this, I was like, boy, howdy, I am far away from home. <laughs> And I really am. And I think to get home, I gotta head in that direction. I, th I think. I could walk there and see, but that, that would take a long time. And trust me, I made the trip. I really did. I made the trip. Um, it's not a quick walk. It, it's a good five-minute walk to anything I can recognize from here. Um, and that tells you just how far you can get away from, from things when you're in the nether. Anyway, in this particular area, I am planning on building another castle. This is the, this is the area I was talking about in one of my previous episodes where I wanted to build a, uh, another castle out of cobblestone, have it sort of be like a winter palace kind of thing. Coal? I will take some coal, thank you. But as it stands right now, it is simply... It is just simply a... Uh, a place I haven't worked on yet. One of the other things I could show you here in the nether, and I might, actually I might, is there is a stronghold I found. I had to walk, oh, for quite a ways to get to it, and, uh, it's definitely a new chunks, I know that much, but it's, it was a hike to find this thing. I basically said, okay, I'm gonna walk in generally one direction until I run into one, and it, it took me a while. It, it's, <laughs> it's going to require me actually building a road in the nether, I hate to say it, and, uh, Unless I want to make a video series that's really, really boring about me building a road. And, you know, let me know if you want me to tape myself doing that. I suppose I could. Um, I don't think I'm going to. It's It would be a really dull, boring um, exercise in me doing something. Because it's, it's a functional thing. I could also put a portal at the stronghold and see where it pops up in the overworld and then try to build a road there but I have a sneaking suspicion that that is even farther away than um, the world that I uh, <laughs> that I showed you, the uh, area I just showed you that would be really 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 out in East Gish so yeah of course it could generate some new structures I might get a regular Stronghold generate, and then that might have a portal to the end. That's the thing that I like about this world is I've been working on it so long. It kind of it's it's layers, it's areas. They are sort of a documentation of the game as it evolved. Because I was building it, and whenever new something new came in, I'd do something else with the new thing. And well, yeah, yeah. Well. Here we go. We're heading to my portal room. It's like magic! Well, it wasn't dangerous this time because I had the difficulty off. And here we are. 
back in my main base. Well, I think I can tell you, say this for sure right now. This has been episode 6 of Staffy Bain Plays Minecraft. This is going to actually, I think, be series 1. So, the next time you see me playing Minecraft, it's going to be series 2 or season 2, depending on if you're in Britain or America. And uh, I do hope you've enjoyed uh, watching and me showing off my world and what I've been doing for the past year, more or less. Um, so, have a good day.